Hello, my name is Michael Fang. I'm a student nurse with Cedar Crest College. I'm going to be presenting my presentation today for Nursing 322, Nursing Research 1. The title of my paper is Relationship Between Simulation and Nursing Education and Medication Safety by Sears, Goldsworthy, and Goodman, 2010. The significance of this problem is to determine whether or not, um, the study was to determine whether or not the simulation experience would help reduce the number of medication errors in a clinical setting. It also tried to study uh, what factors or um, distractions that can occur that can aid in uh, the errors that occur in the medication administration. Um, in terms of, it also wanted to determine whether or not this um, the simulation experiences could help replace a little bit some of the clinical experiences and the BSN programs and just determine whether or not the link uh, that this, the education that you learned and the simulation experiences could transfer to the clinical setting. My research critique, the key points up here are the conceptual model, variables, independent, dependent, the intervention, the sample, ethical components, data collection, results, and limitations of study. First thing is a conceptual model. If there's increasing research that determines that, um, that supports the fact that uh, BSN students who have their BSN um, have less uh, errors, medication, also uh, less adverse reactions, adverse effects, and um, lower mortality rates, etc. But there also is some links between BSN programs and some increase in medication safety errors. Um, also, again, like you said before, with the increase in distraction, they wanted to determine uh, the, what distractions were aiding in uh, these medication errors. And of course, again, to determine whether or not these clinical uh, information that you learned in the simulation could transfer to the clinical setting. In terms of the variables and interventions, the independent variable in the study are the, uh, either the control group in the clinical setting or the treatment group in the simulation setting. The dependent variables are the nursing skills of the medication administration as well as the particular unit, the maternal or the medical surgical unit that they were involved in. Um, in terms of interventions, this study was uh, conducted in Ontario, Canada, and in this particular territory, a BSN was required in order to um, earn your registered nurse license. So, in terms of what, uh, every student in this uh, program was a second year BSN student. Um, they substituted some early clinical hours with uh, simulation experiences instead of having the regular clinical experiences to determine whether or not these students were better prepared to just administer medication in a clinical setting. In terms of the sample and data collection, the sample size consisted of 54 students. Um, there were 28 total in the maternal units, 26 total in the medical surgical units, 30 unit controlled, and 24 in the treatment group. The maternal unit consisted of 18 controlled and 10 treatment, and medical surgical um, group consisted of the 12 controlled and 14 treatment. In terms of the ethical components, uh, Research Ethics Board reviewed this particular study and determined that it was safe and it was ethical. Uh, it also increased nursing knowledge in the simulation experience because there's not a lot of knowledge uh, that points towards simulation. So this is something new for nursing students to be able to, uh, to uh, experience. Um, they also wanted to determine um, that whether or not this was transferable to uh, you know, further simulation experiences in the future for future nursing students. Also, every, everybody who participated in the study was voluntary and uh, were able to change assignments according to their scheduling uh, difficulties or anything like that, as well as uh, they were fully informed of the study and written consent was uh, obtained before uh, continuing with the study. Um, in terms of uh, the results and data collection, the errors were uh, clustered into two different categories, the actual and potential medication errors. Uh, they were collected in SPSS version 13 software. Um, the nursing st instructor would identify the error from the student. Uh, they would not identify the student. No personal information or, or demographic information was provided. Only thing that was provided in the report was the particular unit, the nursing instructor in, uh, in charge, whichever one of the five rights was violated, as well as the um, distraction or factor that lead, led to the error. Uh, the report was consolidated and given to the researchers. And the results were that there were 31 errors out of 54 students. 24 were in the controlled and 17, seven in the treatment. So there was a higher number of errors in the controlled or the clinical experience versus the simulation experience students. As you can see here, the means here are higher in the controlled and total and lower in the treatment. Uh, Poisson distribution was uh, was uh, done. 
significance level length of a p-value anything less than 0 0.05, and a chi-square test was done with a significance level of 0 0.001. So implications for practice and limitations of study. So implications for practice, again, this would help nursing students to gain knowledge and, uh, to, and to identify in, in, uh, knowledge gaps in their skills and to help future nursing students to uh, gain some experience prior to going into the uh, clinical setting so therefore they could practice in a less, um, a more, a less anxious environment. Um, it also help prepare students for emergency situations, increase their critical thinking, prioritization, interventions, and again, identify their gaps in knowledge. Limitations of study was a sample size, only 54 students. It was only one hospital in Ontario. Um, some of the unfamiliar with the area, with the equipment that they were using, as well as the funding, as well as the time constraints of only that one semester. Um, in conclusion, again, this increased uh, the knowledge of simulation experiences for the nursing department. It also helped to um, reduce medication errors in the future. It, this study helps support that. Um, some implications for uh, replication of, this, of the study, possibly a larger scale, more students, more than one hospital in different locations, maybe different socioeconomic backgrounds, different uh, locations that service different socioeconomic backgrounds, different cultures, maybe male or female nurses involved, things of that nature. Um, these are my references, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know, and please leave a comment. Thank you.